Welcome, my brothers and sisters, and welcome to Glory and Deliverance once again. My name is Archbishop Plato Angelakis, and this is day three of our Lentil journey. Today, folks, I want to talk about penance. That's your meditation for the day. We're going to talk about penance. Um, of course, what I'm referring to is the things that we can do to sort of make up or sort of pay our spiritual debt. Uh, these are good acts um, that we could perform after we do our act of contrition, if we go and confess our sins to the Lord, whether you attend a priest in the Catholic Church, and if you're not part of Catholic, and you can just kneel down to the Almighty Father and ask and pray for forgiveness. But we need to do penance. We need to do good works. We need to move forward. Uh, after acknowledging our sins and confessing them to our Lord with the promise that they will be forgiven, um, we do much more than that. We have to do acts of, of penance. And that just may be simple prayers during the day, read a little bit of scripture, doing some really good work, being virtuous with others, practicing our our Christian faith. As we go about our business during our day, we should be living our faith. Not just on Sunday, Sunday morning, and when church is over, go back to our busy lives and not think about it. We need to live our faith, not just attend Sunday Mass and be done with it. We have to live it 24-7. We're at home with our families, or at work, with our co-workers, or other people that were or are coming into our lives, whether in recreation or whatever we might be doing, we do acts of uh, penance. And they could be simply uh, prayers that we do. I, I, I take some prayers from the Piata book. There are uh, there's some devotional prayers that could be read. Um, if you like the rosary, by all means, pray the rosary. The, um, the various uh, chaplets that are out there and all the daily devotions that are offered uh, by the saints. There's various ways to, to do penance, and it's a good way of living our faith. And simply, if you're not doing any of these things, you simply just um, do something good for your fellow neighbor, fellow person at work, your co-worker. These are forms. These are good virtual acts. These are very good things to do. And that is the focus on today, is penance. So let's focus on that today, you know, and maybe do one kind act today for your uh, for your neighbor, you know, and uh, and uh, that's I will give you a, a scripture today because penance is throughout the entire Bible, and I can give you um, all sorts of uh, scripture. But today I'll give you a story. Today will be a story, a real quick story, if I may, about uh, how we. Helping each other, actually, we help ourselves, and it's always good to have these great acts. Um, I've I've been known to you know go through the drive-through to buy a coffee, and uh, one time, some uh, few years back, actually, uh, I ordered a coffee, and I saw that there was a police officer, and his cruiser behind me. I guess he was going to get his coffee, and I just said to the lady, I said, I'll, I'll take care of his coffee. You know, whatever whatever he's buying, I'll take care of it. And I, I paid it and I just said, you know, tell him to thank you for his service and, you know, and to stay safe out there. And, you know, and I a, these are sort of the penances that I kind of like to do. These are examples. So, you know, it's just a coffee. It's a simple act. But, you know, it makes the other person feel good that they've been thought about. Showing gratitude for the services that people do. Or, you know, maybe they're having a bad day and that, that one simple act that you will perform just makes their day. It might just be that just have enough money for a coffee. They may simply just have enough, you know, coin in their pocket to say, uh, you know, um, I only have enough. There's one coffee. Oh, well, this is great. Someone took care of it for me. Anyway, uh, I bought the coffee and off I went. And I was so tired because I was working a night shift uh, that I even forgot my own coffee. I ordered mine. I paid for his. I even left the drive through without even picking up my own coffee. Didn't think anything about it. I drove down the roadways and I had stopped for gas and 
whatever. And once I got my, my fuel, I uh, got onto the highway and I reached down to get my coffee, it wasn't there. And I thought, oh, wow, how dumb of me. I didn't, <laughs> I left it at the drive through Anyway, I was already so far gone down the road that, you know, it didn't matter at this point. I just, I just wanted to get home. And that was the end of it. I didn't think anything of it. And, and uh, next thing you know, I'm, I don't know, there was a police officer behind me with his lights and whistles going on, and the red lights going. And it still didn't catch on. You know, what's going on? Oh, was I speeding? I don't know. I was tired. Anyway, I pulled over, and you know, and he comes to the car, you know, he bangs on his window, and I rolled down the window, and he brought me my coffee that I forgot. He must have read my license plate. He must have looked up the address, figured which direction I was going to head. That's where my home was. But he actually took the time to go look for me and down the highway and uh he pulled me over to make sure that i got my coffee um obviously i thought it was important that he got his coffee that morning and likewise he thought it was important that i got mine so that's a little story um that's a simple act i like to do those kinds of things um but you know you can see how you know the ripples of your of your actions how they they multiply the ripples of your effects will just Ripple down the line, and you know you don't know how it will affect that next person, that coworker of yours. You won't know, um, you know, is that person really having a bad day, and you know, some good act, or you know. Um, so these are the sort of things that I'm sort of fostering today. So I won't keep you any longer on your busy day today, folks. It's penance. Do a kind act. Think about what you can do to help your fellow person. These are all good works. God is watching. God's taking tally of all these things that we're doing. Um, it's good to pray. It's good to do um, devotional things and, and other prayers. And, and also do good penances. And do something good um, for someone, for your family, for your friends. Um, what else can I say? You know, it's, uh, it's, we're all part of the fellowship of God. We're all part of His family. Um, there's no distinction between color or race or creed or gender. We are all in his family and we need to take care of each other. So that is the thought for the day. So again, if you haven't subscribed, um, please, I encourage you to subscribe, to share this video with others and to go forth on your day safely. I bless you in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. Take care of each other, folks. Until tomorrow, God bless.